we have received one candidacy from member states which was put forward by Ireland. The Eurogroup unanimously agreed to endorse Philip Lane, Governor of the Central Bank of Ireland, for this position. We also discussed today the post-programme surveillance of two member states, Ireland and Portugal. In both countries, the crisis is a distant memory. We also had a discussion based on the latest economic forecast presented by the Commission. There is a mixed picture. On average, there is a slowdown in the pace of growth, but the economic fundamentals are still solid and the euro area is growing, creating jobs and increasing investment. Nous avons eu une discussion constructive sur le budget de la zone euro, <coughs> cet instrument budgétaire de la zone euro, euh, avec beaucoup de questions qui restent à trancher. Quel objectif pour les financements, euh, la protection des investissements, le soutien aux réformes structurelles I started by informing the Eurogroup this afternoon about the latest post-programme submissions to Ireland and Portugal. In both cases, uh, repayment capacity remains sound. Ireland, which obviously has had a very good economic performance the last few years with the highest growth rates um, in the euro area for several years, um, has some risks on the external side. You're all aware of, of Brexit. With respect to Portugal, I share the view expressed already that um, developments on the economic and budgetary side have been very good in recent years. Improving convergence and competitiveness, which is the, the um, aim of this budgetary instrument that we discussed, would obviously also improve the resilience of monetary union.